At this point, I'm going to demonstrate how to use UbiDots to gather information from your Raspberry Pi. So up here, I've already generated a bookmark to the people count. So I'm going to go to that link, and this uh, already has me logged in with the user account to uh, access the UbiDots account. In this case, I've already seen that there's 42 counts that have been generated. So this just gives me an overall view of what my current stats are for today. Um, as it accumulates, we're get, we have it set up for the Raspberry Pi to push out data every 30 minutes. So in the next 30 minutes, at about 11 o'clock, it should hopefully show a higher number. If it's not showing a higher number, then we might have a connection problem. So just keep an eye on your UB dots throughout the day. Whenever you want to gather data, um, I usually gather mine on a weekly basis. I'll go to Sources, and within the Sources menu, I have My Data Source and People Counter. So People Counter is the tool that we're using, the Raspberry Pi. Um, that's been set up. So I'm going to click on people counter and I see the variable available to me, people count. So uh, eight minutes ago it counted 16 people. When I click on 16 people, just click down the link path, I'll be dragged into this nice little statistical model. Um, as you see within the statistics that are shown here, there have been periods where our system has been knocked out. Um, so we're working on a, um, an ability to kind of keep up with what's going on. Uh, but it is a nice little visual because we could see, okay, well, this was around finals period where we would have a peak of about 80 people at once uh, within a 30-minute period that would show up, or 81. And that was later on in the day. As you can see in the timing, says uh, for this example 2016 uh, May 3rd that about 1.30 we had about 80 people so we we're pretty peaked out about 1.32 o'clock now as you continue down the line um, you can see the values have dropped for the time period that is around um, now which is after finals so might have a maximum about 14 11 people at a time and this is a nice little visual that UbiDots already provides us. You can always select a range. So if you want, you can look at it in the last hour. You can click on the drop down menu to choose maybe the last week of data. And you can see the troughs and crests of when we've peaked out or dropped out of our individual counts. Now, obviously, when we're not open, we're not going to have any counts. You can even do a custom date, which in this case, I usually do a day-by-day -day, um, evaluation for when I'm gathering my stats. So at this point, if I wanted to say, okay, well, how long has it been for, let's say, a month? So if I go back to April, I start April 1st all the way to um, maybe the beginning of May, just May 1st, since I know we're not open on Sunday. Set the range, and you can see a nice little chart as to when our peak periods were. And this is going to show us um, a range for the dates. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, for that period in, in April. Um, so it's, it's really nice uh, with the visualization that it provides us. So it gives us a good idea of when our peak days or periods are. Uh, and what our averages are. But one thing that I like to do is, if you bear with me just a second, and I'll, I'll go ahead and give you a, this Excel sheet so you can have it um, to kind of work off of if you like, but I've already generated something that looks at it on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, for example, I have fall, I have spring. Uh, I guess I got a little bit more in depth with color coding just to help visualize where I'm at because it can get a little confusing as you go month to month. But um, 
simple. Um, all I do, for, let me just do one day, Tuesday the 10th. Um, I'll basically open up UB dots. I'll custom customize my date period. So from, in this case, I'll go Tuesday the 10th. And I'll make sure that it ends on the 10th. So from the 10th to the 10th. So it's just that one day period. Set the range. And I can see the full range of um, individuals coming in. So uh, this tells me that it starts at about 10 o'clock and continues forward. So it's, it's not the full day, but that's pretty close. I'll click on the gear icon and choose export to CSV. CSV is nice because then I can open up directly from here as an Excel doc. And I'm just going to do a simple sum calculation. So I'm going to choose C2 to C20. Um, since we're assuming that people are exiting and entering from the same door, since that is our primary entrance, um, I'm going to consider this 175 as not the full value. Instead, that's people entering and going. So I'm going to divide that out by 2 just to try to give us a more realistic number. So we can see Tuesday, we, we only had 87 people, or about 87, 87 and a half. So simply add that in, and you can see I've already got a chart of material going on here. So um, I, I have this data graphed here, and this is the nice thing about having this template style that I created. So if you wanted to use this, you can look at it on a day-to-day -day basis. So April was probably one of our most busiest times. As you can see, we peaked out on a day um, close to 800 people coming into the media center needing our assistance. Uh, on the other hand, if you look at May, uh, you can see that we um, had a pretty high number, but it definitely has dropped out. And we've had issues with the people count um, losing connection. So, of course, that's uh, on our part. We got to keep up with it. And whoever has ownership of it is going to need to keep up with the people count in order to continue gaining data. Well, that is pretty much the end of my presentation on how to use the people count, how to gather stats, and what you can use. Um, I'll definitely provide you a template uh, for that Excel file if you're interested. And if you want me to come up there and demonstrate further or wherever you are, um, I can, I'll gladly do that.